If I were a gold digger, I definitely wouldn't ask you for money right away. If? Instead, I would present myself as a hardworking person, making you feel at ease while raising my own status. I would get close. She has a big head. To you, pretend to be interested, and give you some sweet hints, but never take the final step. When you couldn't help but confess your feelings, <gasps> I would tearfully tell you that I've been hurt before and need a lot of love to feel secure. When you feel pity for me, you will have fallen into my trap. I would hint that I value ceremony, mentioning what other suitors have given me. When you, influenced by my hints, invest more and become more entangled, I would become distant. To seek my enthusiasm, you would have to spend even more money. However, once I see your ceiling and have drained you sufficiently, I would kick you aside and look for the next target. Okay, she really gets on, gets upon the idea that uh, she can manipulate guys uh, to exploit them. Yeah. Interesting. Also, her main flaw would be perhaps best portrayed in the book 40 Laws of Power, which is about like using people or, or kind of avoiding the same scenario happening to you. But it kind of is based on the scenario that you are eclipsing the other person intellectually, you know more than them, you are you are you know wiser. And if and even if that is the case, they're probably going to put the puzzle pieces together. I mean, a uh, common example would be like marketing and sales. They are trying something and now you saw it. I mean, maybe they would argue that, oh, yeah, uh, like seeing the brand uh, makes it more likable. But now you saw that product and you think less of it and you think less of the brand and think less of the company. So I would argue that if it doesn't work, that it really didn't work. And if she's trying this uh, two cent manipulation, uh, it's not going to be as popular and going to work as well as she thinks. And possibly many of the gold diggers might be aiming up both both like money wise and those who earn their money might be more capable and age wise. And uh, the guys might know more. So what is going to be the probable outcome is that uh, they're just going to use you. <laughs> Like, you're kind of hoping to use them. Okay, let's keep going. There are several types of gold diggers. If you have a better condition, you might have encountered these types. Yeah, better condition means rich here. And that that's why I would argue that it, it is good to maybe not look poor, but like modest. So you don't want to be a target. <laughs> like very like golden necklaces and like just look like a, a fucking jackass. The first type is the most common and basic gold digger. They will ask you for money. A level one gold digger. In various situations, asking for money when going out, asking for money on dates, or even during a birthday party at home. The lowest level gold diggers might even ask you to order takeout for them. The second type of gold digger is more sophisticated. Yeah, that that could be best of dating by some people's opinion, but I would argue that it should, it should be a partnership uh, from start to finish. So there you go. I mean, if they like you, they're not gonna ask for things that are that would make it make you like not like them kind of they will use a method of being intermittently warm and cold to make you think they have feelings for you but they are not particularly invested they might act cold when you are enthusiastic and become warm when you are indifferent they make yeah, tuned, level two is tuned there okay but that's not gonna work either because if someone likes you right they, they just want to spend time with you if they're playing hot and cold that's not yeah i would argue that they don't care about you you wouldn't need to chase someone who, like, let's say, like, a friendship situation. Like, you don't need to, it's not like tune there and you're not like chasing them. It's like, hey, Bob, like, let's, let's, let's play the game. Like, okay, we play the game. Good thing. We have fun. Like, that's it. Like, it's simple, right? Not like, oh, yeah, they're playing hot and cold and uh, and you have to chase them. But like, yeah, because uh, they don't want to spend time with you, but you want to spend time with it. Just, yeah. And this seems like totally obvious, but you know, put in a rate, uh, dating context, people might think like, oh yeah, but chasing is good and like hot and cold is good and whatever. They may give you some hints, such as leaning closer during your time together, creating an illusion that they like you. Even if you confess your feelings and are rejected, they will. This is the level three gold digger. Use some hints, such as leaning closer during your time together, creating an illusion that they like you. Even if you confess your feelings and are rejected, they will still accept your gifts. The third type of gold digger. No, 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 that was still the level two. Confess two. your feelings and are rejected, they will still accept your gifts. The third type of gold digger is. <laughs> confess your feelings and are rejected they will still accept your gifts but you're not giving gifts so it's it's easy the third type of gold digger that's fine is even more advanced they level three gold digger treat you exceptionally well making you willing to spend money and provide emotional value leading you to become okay not bad emotionally invested they use their beauty and sincere behavior to guide you making you feel they are deeply invested however well it sucks to be you because i would distrust someone who's uh looking too sincere anyone's behavior is too consistent and too likable is uh not something not something i would trust people are all kind of somewhat dislikable and if you don't dislike them don't dislike what they're saying like at least sometimes they're definitely fake they just they just they're just playing a game kind of predicting what you think you would like and they just keep saying that 
And and if you know this, then you don't really like it. But of course, they might might know that they need to say uh, unlikable stuff sometimes. So <laughs> that could be a better game there. However, in reality, they rarely make substantial contributions and might continually change your thoughts and perceptions. Mm. They might use their past romantic experiences to gain sympathy, such as saying, "All my serious relationships ended because the guys didn't cherish me." But the actual yeah, that's not not as good as you think. Do more for me. The reason for the breakup was that her ex found out she was trying to extract money from him. The most high-level gold digger skillfully guides you to believe she is fully considering your needs. Her true intention is to exchange emotional value and appearance for material gains. Yeah, well, you just give nothing and... Let's see. You might end up suffering because you are unclear about what you truly need. You may think you need just emotional value, but in reality, you need loyalty and dedication. Gold diggers are unlikely to provide that. Oh, they, they gotta provide that, but in a way that they don't like it. I mean, the, the main way gold diggers get brutalized is that they get roped around by the guy who has the money, or maybe like pretends to have the money, and they try to chase the guy who has the money and try to get him to commit, but they never will. <laughs> just, the gold diggers are just free hoes. Everyone, please help analyze if this woman is a gold digger. Just now, my friend left message chat asking me to analyze whether this woman has any problems and if she is normal or not. He has been with the woman for a year and a half. He said he has transferred a total of about 90,000 yuan to her, and including the money spent on her, it totals around over 100,000 yuan. When they talked about getting married, they initially agreed on a bride price of 88,000 yuan, but now it has increased to 108,000 yuan. Uh. The woman said, if you want us to get married in 2024, the bride price should be 108,000 yuan. You need to buy a car worth no less than 300,000 yuan, the house must be bought by the man in full, and the woman's name must be added to the title. Additionally, when both parents and relatives meet, each red envelope given to these relatives should not be less than 2,000 yuan. Then, a separate red envelope with an auspicious amount of 10,001 yuan should be given to the woman. During the engagement... Why is this so long? I just say like, I want a lot of money. Another 10,001 yuan red envelope should be given. The three gold items for the wedding should not be less than 30,000 yuan. She said that if he can meet all these requirements, they will get married in 2024. If not, they should break up and not waste each other's time. I think that... What the fuck? What do you mean waste each other's time? She's doing nothing. Okay, I... There are two plays here. Either, uh, I guess... I guess you can, uh... <laughs> I mean, they continue this relationship and the use, use the woman as... No, no, no. I'm not really recommending this. This is just a headache. Just, just a bend the ship. A bend the ship. <laughs> I don't really value that. Still. I mean, can't just make a counter offer that she provides this. Something like that. I think this woman's intentions are not pure. I don't know. No way. Know what you will think about this, and you can also give him some advice on whether he should continue with this woman or give up. Is this an edge case? Anyway, my suggestion is to give up, as I think this woman's intentions are not pure. Don't always say that we girls are materialistic. Okay. Are you gonna say something super materialistic to follow it up? You might not distinguish between Laro and you and normal girls. For example, if a guy spends a lot of money on gifts for a girl, and the girl says to him, "We're just friends. You're a nice person," a normal girl would decisively and clearly refuse if she doesn't like you even a small gift would not be accepted if she knows you are pursuing her if you give her both big and small gifts and she accepts them but still doesn't accept you as a person you need to consider whether the problem is with your own judgment is it possible that the person you're pursuing has issues in fact yeah but you should not be accepting the gifts anyway right you're, basically your point is that you should be only accepting gifts if you like the person but you should you should you be accepting the gifts anyway i mean if you really want to prove that you are uh not like that then you can just give gifts to the guy or at least play fair whether a boy or a girl likes each other isn't necessarily determined by money. For instance, if I'm having a great and enjoyable time with someone, I will like that feeling of interaction rather than measuring it with money. So, if the other person purely lets you spend money without any boundaries, I think it's better to give up early. Such a person is not worth it. One of my friends has spent 200,000 yuan pursuing a girl. The girl told him that if he buys her a 500,000 yuan car, she will agree to be with him. My friend has been pursuing her for a month, and during this time, he has taken her out to dinners costing over 1,000 yuan per person and given her gifts worth five figures. A few days ago, he transferred 52,000 yuan to her and confessed his feelings. When I asked him why he was so generous to this girl, he said it was because... You only need to chase those who don't like you. And what are you winning there? <laughs> ...was because the girl had mentioned that when others initially pursued her, someone had bought her a 500,000 yuan car, but she still didn't agree to be with him because she didn't like him. My friend thought he should show more sincerity and not be worse than other suitors, so he was willing to invest so much. After listening to this, I realized that this is actually a tactic used by gold diggers. They raise their value and show that they are not materialistic, but when you invest a lot of... How? Which was that part? I, I didn't catch that. ...time and money and are about to achieve your goal. They will delay because they fear you won't cherish them. They use this method to make you prove your genuine interest. Many men who have invested heavily might feel that they truly love the girl and are willing to continue investing. These gold diggers take advantage of the gambler's psychology, making you reluctant to give up. In the end yeah, but that, that guy just kept spending more and more money until he was hit by the big car request, right? He was sucker... ...since the very start. In the end, I want to tell you that such girls often continue to make new demands. Once you agree to their requests, you will immediately become the provider. They might fulfill their promise but then find excuses to delay, keeping you in a pseudo-romantic relationship while you continue to be the provider. Ultimately, you will either be used as a tool or be ruthlessly abandoned after your value has been drained. Remember, attracting a girl relies on other qualities, not on impressing her with money. I was really surprised to find out 
Well, that there are actually gold digger training classes in Shanghai nowadays. Yes, gold digger academy. Let's go. These training classes mainly teach young girls how to extract money from wealthy men. The tuition for these classes is very expensive. It is said to be fifty thousand yuan per hour. The girls attending these classes are usually between the ages of twenty to twenty-eight. Their targets are entrepreneurs, company executives, second-generation rich kids, or elite men from some trend. Yeah, but how, how is that gonna work? So you have some, like I don't know, eighteen to twenty-five year olds here, and you, well, they kind of think that they can learn how to trick guys, probably older rich guys, into maybe marrying them or extracting their cash somehow. Some trending industries. Whether you are single or not, you are all their targets. Re I think is they're always competing with hookers, I guess. Recently, a netizen mentioned an incident. A very wealthy man said that he... So assuming that the guy only cares about uh, sex and... Um, I'm not an idiot. That, that's basically, at most, what you can uh, extract. That he had been dating his girlfriend for six months. During these six months, the girl gradually asked him for cash transfers and expensive gifts totaling 2 million yuan. After two million yuan? six months, the girl asked to get married. At this point, the man felt that they had not been together long enough to get married immediately, and the economic situations of their families were vastly different. It was not a suitable match. Two million yuan is like... hundred... but like... something something thousand dollars? That's insane. The man's parents... You can retire with that, in China. ...and also disagreed with them getting married so soon. Seeing that marrying into a wealthy family was hopeless, the girl proposed breaking up, and she refused to return the cash transfers and gifts she had received. At I mean, you can... I, I got an easy solution to this. You dress modestly and don't give away money. Or you only give away as much as they, they give you. So it's kind of like a, on the scale kind of balances out. At this point, the man realized that he had been deceived. Later, the man used some connections to find out that the girl was simultaneously dating several men and even used the same phrases. He then realized that this girl had attended a gold digger training class. He later recovered part of the money through legal means. I have seen an extremely straightforward gold digger who made no effort to hide her intentions. Mm. A few years ago, a young girl used her connections to follow a boss into one of our high-level gatherings. These gatherings are held several times a year, initiated by the most powerful bosses in the circle, and very few outsiders can participate. Upon hearing about the gathering, this girl begged one of the bosses to bring her to learn. When introducing herself, she claimed to be the business director of a certain company. Whether it was her keen sense or some other reason, during the meal, she quickly identified the most powerful boss present and ran over to toast him with her glass of wine. To Case in point, right? She's not playing hard to get here. To everyone's surprise, she directly sat on the boss's lap. After being pushed away, she tried to sit again but was scolded by the boss, and she dejectedly returned to her table. That night, back at the hotel, she used the excuse of borrowing a power bank to knock on my door, saying she wanted to learn more about our industry. I obviously understood her intentions, so I immediately refused her through the door. Later, I learned that she went door to door knocking on several bosses' doors that night and added several bosses' contacts. The next day, she insisted on writing back with the second. Wow. I think... <laughs> She can be hired for sales. That, that, that is pretty gutsy. And insistent. The second most powerful boss in the circle but was also refused. Do you know what happened next? After returning, this girl continuously visited those bosses from the gathering. <laughs> she has future in sales. I heard that she got a BMW from one of the bosses and received some money from two small <laughs> bosses, totaling hundreds of thousands of yuan in cash. Just this trip alone, she probably harvested over one million yuan. Those bosses who gave her benefit. Yeah, that's insane. That's insane money. She, she does this like a couple times in her life and like, I mean, definitely she should do it more. And she's basically done. She, she's just retired. If her benefits were later ridiculed. But probably she's gonna find some sucker. Like Mary. In fact, such things are not uncommon in our circle, but wasn't her behavior a bit too blatant? Identifying a... No, that's actually... It's actually pretty common. If people... See what they like, then they go after it. So... People only play hard to get if they don't like you. Because you can look at women, for example, at... Uh, Justin Bieber concerts and they all hold the, the the sign of like, oh yeah, marry me, Justin Bieber, knock me up or something. And we're all ready to be part of your harem or something. And like, okay. Not exactly hard to get. Finding <laughs> a gold digger is actually quite simple. You just need to look at how often she mentions money. Think about it. When you like someone, don't you want to show your best side? If she constantly says things like, oh, I owe for water, I owe for electricity, I owe for service fees. I have to pay. That, that's great. I just got an opening for an electrician. Have to pay rent tomorrow. Work isn't going well. I can I can get your job there. Easy. I haven't made any money recently. I can't afford to eat, regardless of whether she directly asks you for money. If she keeps talking about her poor living conditions, she is likely a gold digger. There are also some women you can identify as gold diggers without even meeting them. If she immediately starts asking about your car, house, job, income, and so on. It yeah, that is common. But also, people ask this just to try to slot you in. Like, where do we stand? Am I better than you? Are you better than me? 
she might say like, oh yeah, but I don't say, oh yeah, like I went to this school, I, I make this much money. So she's like, oh, it's, it's all about status. But like, they're just trying to say the good things that they're probably exaggerating as well. <laughs> People would straight up, you, you, you stare them in the face and they would say that they are taller than they are. It's like, uh, yeah, I'm as tall as you claim to be. And you're like, this, this shorter than me. So <laughs> I'm not saying that the tall is a good thing. It's like a, a, a status, but those who are shorter might might lie about it <laughs> in a strange way. <laughs> okay. Uh... In 99% of cases, she is testing how much money you have. At this point, you mustn't save face, because in the end, you'll likely end up with nothing. They just, just say nothing. If you want to play it super safe, assuming you can try to gain status here, but you can just like dress modestly, uh, spend modestly, and uh, be super coy about... Uh, showing whatever like source of status you have unless i guess you can try to brag about it maybe some people like to do that but i think it's better if you are you've played secretive at this point you mustn't save face because in the end you'll likely end up with nothing another type of gold digger is one who constantly comments on how nice a bag looks especially in the best there could be a mindset that like uh bragging is tacky this really depends on the country. But you lose status by trying to tell others that you're high status. <laughs> I guess I guess you have to be tricky about it. You, you can you can seem it, but if you try to tell it, then you, then you lose it. <laughs> I guess the Nordic countries are more representative of this. Basically, you shouldn't tell others that you're cool, but be cool. Bag looks, how good a piece of clothing is, or how great a watch is. I want to tell you that if a girl genuinely wants to date you, she would be too shy to ask for anything directly. Okay. Who is this? Who is this narrator? But why do so many people still get tricked? Because what I'm most worried about is that you think she is an exception. Finally, let me tell you how a gold digger usually responds when you confess your. The, the narrator is Loki Blackfield. Feelings. A gold digger might say, hmm, I think we're moving too fast. I want to get to know you better. Yeah, no one says that if they are if they are enjoy spending time with you and see a future with you. No one says that. Like, can you imagine like a friendship? Like, oh yeah, I think we're moving so fast. We gotta, we gotta like back away. No, no, no. They're just trying to. Um, yeah, better. they don't better. like you that much. The person you are. I believe relationships should develop naturally and take their time. When yeah. the time is right, we'll naturally be together. If you think, think you've heard this response before, this especially could be annoying in uh, collectivist cultures that they are not direct with you but even even in um more individualistic cultures um, you're probably not gonna get a, a straight answer <laughs> or congratulations you're just a fish in her pond she's fishing for you yay yeah if they like you they're not gonna make asks that uh kill the relationship or uh, greatly endanger it. 